Oh Honey Lip Gloss Shadows and Blush. Look at this packaging. Oh my God. I wish I had the original here with me. I'm not good at like holding on to stuff like that, but it looks like the, the dark-sided, slutty goth version of the original. So pretty. I still remember sitting at the Sugar Pill headquarters around a table talking about like the veining and sort of like the UV of all these hexagons and it seems like just yesterday. Packaging, smackaging, I'm share, bitch. Yes, exactly. Will you show us some of your new house? I'm at my new house. We just, you know, haven't. We're not, we, girl, we barely, we have, a, we have a couch and a bed. We have nothing here. Um, what are you holding on to? Let's, let's get into it. It's the back here. The sequel to our iconic collection created by drag superstar Trixie Mattel. Oop. Great buzzworthy looks with this decadent pressed pigments. Isn't that great? Great veining on the packaging. I know you can't really see it, but do you see the matte versus like UV kind of? I love that type of shit. Oh, there's something about clean lines like that and like really distinct finishes that just make me like, oh, I love that. Love that. So let's get into it. This is, by the way, this is available. Um, currently, it's available. Still time to get it for the holidays. This is 52 for the whole collection. I believe the Lip Duo is like 36, but. Ba -ba! So pretty, right? You love that lamp. You know, we don't love that lamp. So that's interesting that you say you love that lamp because we have, we, have, we have evolving feelings about that lamp. Um, Oh, so pretty. Look at it. I pulled the palette out and beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, God. So this is a limited edition. This is number 12 of however many. I don't know how many they made. Oh, my God. Absolutely beautiful here. Stunning. Let's just do some close-up. Close-up, close-up. So the first Oh Honey was a lot more matte. It was a lot more daytime wearable. It was sort of like your conservative but fun ants like color palette. This one is a lot more sexy and aggressive and, and kind of like it's just slutty and dark sided, which is kind of the vibe to be honest. So we have, let's see, we have Bumble, which is this, it's kind of showing up red in this lighting, but it's really like a bright coral kind of punchy like punchy kind of color. Then we got Sting, which is this plum. Cause there's something I really like about like deep ambers and golds against like really red plums. It looks really like rich and, and spooky. Um, we also have Drip Drip, which is this deep egg plant, but it has kind of a shift to it. Do you see that? It's a little bit of a shimmer. And then I'm obsessed with right under that. This is this buzz off. Isn't that cool? Like, even the, these two colors, don't you just want to slather that all over your face? These type of blacks with glitter, they make me want to do, like, super extended, dark, like, pointy, like, whoosh, you know what I mean? So cool. This queen color is so pretty. It's like a warm gold. And we tried to really do, like, um, honey gold, which is more amber. It's not yellow. It's almost like a peach. When you look at honey, it has, like, a, a peach heart to it. And you can see in that color, it's not yellow it has a little more vitality to it than like a straight up cartoon yellow you know and then i love this hive mind color i'm obsessed with orange especially like orange lip products cheek products eye products and this type of deep dripping honey oozy orangey color is so sexy so pretty and then royal flush it's a little bit um i mean it's like a true watermelon like bleach pink, but it has a very strong gold shift. So in the shoot for it, you can tell, like I almost have it on as a highlight because it really has some shimmer to it. Less pigment. You remember in the last Oh Honey, I think it was called Life Size and the blush was more of like a real watermelon. This one's actually kind of like half blush, half highlighter, which is kind of a little bit more of what I'm into now, to be honest. I have evolved into a person who likes wearing shimmery blushes. I don't, it, I'm, in, I'm in a new person. Isn't that pretty? And I love these giant pans of blush. It just makes me want to take a blush brush like this big, and just like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. beauty, beauty, beauty. And then um, I'm not gonna swatch because I'm in a white T-shirt. But let's get into these lips, shall we? 
shall we? So the lip comes with this beautiful sugar coat lip gloss, which I mean, it really looks like you reached into a beehive and just put honey on your lips. Isn't that beautiful? I was like, let's do something like your, your, your lips are the king and queen. So pretty. And there's something I really like about gold lip glosses because they kind of neutralize the pink in your lips. So it kind of makes it more just fleshy and nudie. And I have very pink lips. So I like when something kind of cuts through the pink in my lips to make it really nude. I like that. So very pretty, right? Let's just put it on. Let's just, I just want to show it. Do you see that? Like it's, it is gold, but it just kind of cuts through. Do you see that? It just cuts the pink a little bit. I love the look of that. Mac used to make this luster glass called Instant Gold and I was obsessed with it for a very long time, but isn't that beautiful? It smells so good. The sugar pill lip products all smell like creamsicle. It literally smells like a creamsicle. We should buy, David, we should buy creamsicles. Okay. We're gonna buy creamsicles. <laughs> isn't that pretty? Easy. I'm such a wimp when it comes to like, you know, demanding lip colors, especially with a palette like this where I'm gonna wanna wear like really bold, bright, dark eye makeup. I want just like a little mm, lip. However, if you want more than that, there is a lip duo that has these two colors in them. Honey, the one we just had on, so beautiful. Honey Dip, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, and then I gotta show you this. This is called Sweet Tooth. I have this on in the photo shoot. <sighs> I run into people all the time who are wearing that Barbara lip color from the first Oh Honey, and I'm like, how do you even still have that? And they're like, I save it for special occasions. Isn't that beautiful? Like, it's sort of like a more autumn winter version of something like Please Me, which is like really famous, or like kind of a velvet teddy, or it makes me think of like a really dark version of it kind of gives KBD how some of the, the KBD lip colors are often sort of like antiqued Victorian rosy shades. It's kind of that, but it's still like a blessed little peach. You know what I mean? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? So if you're not an eye and cheek person, you get this little lip duo. And look at this black, black packaging. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, I just got home. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I don't... I don't really get on the live anymore. Lives are triggering. They make me think of COVID, to be honest. It just like makes me think of drag queens talking to themselves on the internet for two years, um, myself included. So if you guys are into this, it is available. Enjoy it. It's beautiful. The last So Honey was literally like four years ago. So you never know. You never know when another one will come around again. So treat yourself. Get this at sugarpill.com. Support the gals. Support a woman-owned cosmetics business. Mwah.